have some Halo Infinite weapon models and skins been vicariously announced? Stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again, give you another news informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these news informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button. It lets me know you want to see some more content like this and it helps out more people to get their eyes on this video, get themselves updated with everything going on in the Halo community. And so let's get right into the content here. It was recently just announced that Halo is partnering with the Hasbro company Nerf to be able to make their own style of weapons within the Halo universe. Very much similar to what Boomco has which actually made some pretty sweet options for players that have some kind of toy replica weapons from the game into Halo and they were rather accurate and looked pretty cool. Some of the coloring was a little too vibrant and bright for me, a little more too toy-like for me to really enjoy it, but some of them were really well done. Very faithful to the original game counterparts, so I really appreciated that. And I would think that with uh, partnering up with Hasbro and Nerf, that having your own Nerf guns in from Halo would probably also be rather accurate. So this basically confirms three weapon types that are gonna be in Halo Infinite and what they're gonna be looking like as we do know 343 does like to take their liberties at times to uh, change the aesthetics of a weapon or functions as well. But uh, this one looks like to be rather faithful, I feel, to what we imagine these weapons to be. So the first weapon we're looking to be looking at here is the Assault Rifle. It's gonna be charging 50 bucks for this. It has a 10 round mag that takes like C batteries, which that's a heck of a lot of power right there for a nerf gun. But also is that the cool thing that they mentioned is that on the plus side, each one comes with a code to unlock the M40's color scheme in the upcoming Halo Infinite. So this also confirms that skins are going to be in this game. I kind of figured as much since we do know that most likely they're going to be doing a season pass kind of model in some kind of way like that. And so the one thing we know that shooters have learned to do is not monetize the gameplay that's what Star Wars Battlefront 2 learned from uh, everybody and they learned that customization is the place to monetize but the thing is that customization in Halo has been so key to the experience that what can you monetize well weapon skins are pretty easy to monetize for sure I would also say that this weapon skin looks pretty sweet like, I actually kind of really want this weapon, to be honest. Uh, it looks pretty cool. I'd love to have that hanging in my bookshelf or something like that as a functional kind of little piece of uh, memorabilia. But if they have similar weapon skins like this, I think it would be awesome. I would just really hope that they do not implement some kind of weapon skins that kind of break the immersion of what the game is. Uh, Halo 5 kind of ran into the issue a few times with like the cat sticker weapon skin, the pizza skin, the french fry skin on your weapons and stuff like that it just really made it feel cheesy and corny and kind of took you out of the moment of this serious military sci-fi action high-packed super serial game but then your gun is made of pepperonis now we do also do have a visual of what the spanker rocket launcher is going to be looking like and it looks a little what you wouldn't expect because they made it into like a handgun kind of thing that shoots two shots at the same time it's only going to cost you ten dollars but uh it's just like doesn't really exactly capture what like a spanker rocket launcher feels like the whole at least i would think um i can't believe they didn't decide to use like the magnum or whatever but they decided to choose the spanker with this one and you can tell that even though it's small and completely red though they definitely were inspired by the classic spanker rocket launcher so i have a feeling with halo infinite we're gonna begin that classic spanker rocket launcher uh, not like the long military like tube that we had in the beginning of halo 5 uh, so i'm definitely glad to see this uh version of the rocket launcher return and lastly this weapon i felt a little concerned about the redesign on it but then looking back at it i'm actually really liking it and then another weapon we get to have for these nerf guns is the needler yes the needler's gonna be in this it's gonna be just like a small handheld gun for 10 bucks kind of same thing as a spanker in a way uh, but you can see it's much more sleek and uh, smooth uh, you know very sharp edge design to it and the needler is one of the more iconic weapons that's ever been made in a shooter in general no other weapon no other game has ever made a weapon that looks like the needler 
I mean, let's be real here. And so changing something up like that quite a bit is a bit of a risky move. But actually now looking at this, I'm kind of digging the new design because it's less symmetrical. It looks a little more functional and I uh, really just kind of like the smooth sharpness of it. It looks pretty clean. And so I would love to see if they did the similar model in the actual game itself. Now, obviously the Needler is a weapon designed for the Covenant and obviously their anatomy is a little different than a human. So the Nerf could have taken some uh, liberties to kind of you know, design the weapon in a way to have it be more functional and affordable for children to play with mainly. Though looking back at what Boomco did that with their very faithful redesigns, I would have to think that this might be the new Needler design. And Honestly, I'm actually all for it. I think it looks awesome. Uh, it was, but you know what? We won't know until uh, probably E3 this year. But uh, I think it would be a kind of a cool thing to show. Plus, I really like the the coloring on it as well, with like the uh, the maroon, red, and the white, with a little bit of the yellow and pink kind of mixed in there as well. If that similar kind of color scheme with the actual needler in the game for like a weapon skin. Yeah, dude, that'd be awesome. Now seeing that there are gonna be codes for weapon skins in this game also makes me wonder how are they gonna go about possibly monetizing this? Certainly there are many ways you can go about doing it. We had previously was was loot boxes, which definitely don't seem to be in vogue right now when it comes to the gaming community, when it comes to microtransactions, as people do not like having randomness be a factor when it comes to being able to customize your character how you please. And so most likely, I think we probably would begin like a form of a season pass, since we do know that Halo Infinite is going to be a game as a service, very, very much similar to say like a Apex Legends or what Call of Duty uh, Modern Warfare is doing right now or even uh, Rainbow Six Siege as well where most of those games are running with like a season pass model where you can either do the free version get some unlocks or you can do the paid version and get a lot more unlocks to kind of grind your way up to it so you still have to earn it in a way but also there should be a way to be able to earn these freely so then people can just play the game a lot and get what they want It'd be really interesting to see what they do with different kinds of camos. I mean, obviously games have been becoming a little more uh, imaginative when it comes to weapon skins for sure, like with different kind of animations, colorings on them, lighting, moving around, stuff like that. Uh, especially like I remember like with uh, Destiny 2, with the Graviton Lance, there was like a layer within it that wasn't affected by the movement and those looking like you were looking through an interdimensional section of the gun which looked freaking awesome and i would say wouldn't be very immersion breaking uh, and also like especially if you're playing against somebody who has like a crazy weapon skin you don't really notice it as much as like a player model so it doesn't break your experience too much from playing the game as well uh, i mean if you come across a spartan that looks like a hello kitty model that's a little more game breaking but if like a hello kitty weapon skin you know i'm not exactly for it because i feel like it's immersion breaking but i think something like that might kind of come around later on throughout the game uh just because people like their wacky nonsense i'm sure another game that's done weapon skins pretty well where they got their imaginations flowing for sure on these different weapon skins but actually works out really well is gears of war 5 now i do know that there's been some controversy behind the microtransactions of that game and some of the practices that they've had but some of the content they have looks pretty freaking awesome as you can see on, see on the screen right now it's just some examples of like yeah that's not exactly like a realistic weapon skin but it looks freaking cool and so i think that would be something that would be fun to have also with halo infinite well great way to customize your character with something you can see for yourself and it's just a, a great way to um, expand on the customization that the game can have to offer with Halo Infinite set to release this fall along with the Xbox Series X, it's going to be a big year for Halo Infinite and hopefully a big year for this channel as well. So if you like this news informational video, please make sure to tap that like button to help get more people to see this kind of information. Stay up to date with everything going on with Halo Infinite. And if you like, if you have any comments, what you think about these redesigns or these color schemes as well, let me know in the comment section down below. Or are you all for pizza skins? I mean, I'm not, but if you like them, then uh, more power to you, I guess, really. <laughs> and if you're new to the channel and miss any content from me, make sure you tap subscribe, guys. Uh, if you miss any content from me, make sure you check out the videos on the screen right now. I got my uh, video playlist right there that has all my news informational videos. So if you miss anything or been out of the loop for a little, little bit, check out the videos right there, guys. I'll keep you up to date uh, real quick. And so thank you much for watching, guys. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.